close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. And then again, the next breath, all the way in, all the way out. Keep that up. You don't have to go anywhere else. You have no other responsibilities right now. It's time to let the mind just rest and be on its own. Look after itself. We look after the world so much, we have to take care of our home, we have to take care of, take care of our job, whatever other responsibilities we have. And all too often the mind gets left uncared for. It's like doctors who don't have time to look after themselves. So take some time now. Look after your mind. Because the mind is our greatest treasure. It's what brings light into our lives, if we train it right. It can also bring a lot of darkness if we don't train it right. As the Buddha said, people were born in light and go to, go to the light. Some people are born in darkness, go to the light. Some people are born in the light, go to the darkness, or are born in darkness and go to darkness. The darkness we're born into is the conditions we're born into. Some people have a lot of difficulty in their homes and their family, their financial position. But where you come from doesn't really matter as much as where you're going. Going to the light means practicing the precepts, developing the mind through generosity, developing it also through meditation. That kind of life goes, life goes toward the light. So you want to make up your mind that that's where you want to go. To think about the candles we're going to be making today. That's a symbol of where we want to go with our lives. We want to go toward the light. So look at your behavior. This is also a good time of the year to do that. One of the reasons why we have the candle pouring at the beginning of the Rains Retreat. The Rains Retreat is traditionally a time where people take vows for special kinds of goodness they're going to create in their lives. We think about having a memorial. Now, there was a sign I saw, the only memorial is one, it's a big stone they put on your grave. And that's not a true memorial. The memorial is the goodness you do in your life. And you want to do something special, so you have a special memorial. So think about something specially good you could do during the next three, three months. Make up your mind that you're going to give it a try. Three months isn't too long. It can be being extra generous, being extra kind with your words, avoiding divisive speech, avoiding lies, avoiding harsh speech. Look at whichever precept you're still weak in and try to make up for the weakness, try to make up for the lack. Or if you want to spend more time meditating, it's always good, because after all, the mind is your treasure, and meditation is looking after your treasure to make sure that it doesn't get lost and doesn't wear out. So it's good to reflect on your life. What are the good things you've done in the past, and how can you make them better? Or where are the areas where you're still lacking? How can you make up for the lack? And here's your opportunity. This is something we all have equally, is the opportunity to do good. Even in difficult situations, even in dark situations, you can still make the light decision. This is, this is going to go toward the light. It's even better if you're in a light decision where things are bright. You don't want to get careless. So here's your opportunity. We're still alive this year. Every year we miss a few people, and new people are joining. As long as we're still around, we want to make use of the time that we have, because it slips through our fingers like water. You put your hand down in the water, try to get a handful of water, and it just goes right through your fingers. That's what life is like. But while you've got it, you want to be able to get some light out of it. This is how you do it. It's by making up your mind you're going to do something special, and then carrying through with that decision. So it doesn't matter whether you were born in lightness or dark. Light or darkness, excuse me. What matters is that you were born in a way that you're going heading toward the light. And that's the decision you make after you're born, and that's the decision you keep make, making every day. So make sure you make the right decisions each time you decide what to do or say or think, which way you're going, toward the light or toward the darkness. It's a choice we're making all the time, so make sure that you're making the right choice. <laughs>